Welcome back to In Focus, everybody. Now that Republicans have taken back the majority in the House of Representatives, we're seeing some good things happening. Investigations being launched left and right and announcements of investigations. So far, House Republicans have announced probes into the weaponization of the FBI, China, Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, the border crisis, January 6th, all to come. Get to the bottom of the truth about these things, as well as an investigation into companies who have turned against free speech by censoring conservatives. Congressman Buddy Carter has been leading that charge, announcing that he plans to investigate companies for censorship of conservative channels like yours truly, One America News. Representative Carter recently sat down with OAN's correspondent John Hines about this. Here's a look. They've um, asked for answers to that, and then shortly thereafter, you see some of the conservative uh, channels and some of the conservative networks uh, being dropped from AT&T and from Verizon, and um, One American News is an example. Um, they were dropped, and it, it, of course, raises questions as to whether uh, the federal government and members of Congress are having influence over these companies um, and, and causing them to suppress conservative voices. Look, I believe in free speech, and, and um, I believe that more speech is, uh, is the antidote um, as opposed to less speech, um, that more speech is the antidote for bad speech. So, I'm, and I don't want the federal government to ever be involved. I, I believe that less government is better government. And, you know, the federal government should not be getting involved in, in private companies, businesses like that. And that's why it's so concerning. And that's why we have set as one of our main priorities in 118th Congress as the Republican uh, majority takes hold that we're going to have oversight over this and we're going to look into this. He joins us now with more on this, representing Georgia's first congressional district, Congressman Buddy Carter. Congressman, great to have you on the show. We appreciate you standing up for uh, companies like us here at One America News who, who, have, who have been kicked out of the public square. We've been, we've been shut up and been silenced. At least they've tried, Big Tech has tried, and we are still kicking and screaming and don't plan on changing that. Um, what, what type of investigations do you wish to see this new House majority uh, undertake? Well, first of all, let me preface it by saying that leading up to this point to where we are taking over in the majority, this is something we've been talking about. This is something we've been promising uh, our constituents, promising the voters that if you elect us, if you put us in the majority, oversight is going to be one of our top priorities, specifically in this arena, in the arena of telecommunications. Now's the time for us to step up. Now's the time for us to deliver. And we're going to do just that. That was not all just talk that we were uh, we were trying to just get someone's vote. This is serious, and oversight is an extremely important tool in our tool chest, and that's why we're going to be utilizing this oversight, particularly again as it relates in this arena with telecommunications. And obviously, you know, like I said, that would be uh, us here at One America, and that would be uh, companies like Twitter for example, who, oh, I don't know, censored the duly elected president of the United States, Donald Trump, two days after uh, the January 6th events. What, what, what uh, investigations, if any, are there going to be into Twitter? Or now that Elon Musk is running the show and actually restoring some sense of free speech to the platform, uh, is, is Twitter going to be spared? How's that going to work? Well, nothing's going to be immune, I will tell you that, and I'm confident that our conference, because we talk about this every time that we meet, every meeting that we have with our conference, this is the one thing that's brought up is oversight and what we're going to be doing. So no, nothing's going to be immune. Everything is, is on the table. We understand because what's at risk here is free speech. And we cannot and we will not allow that to happen. We're not going to let free speech go by the wayside. By the wayside. We're not going to allow these companies to suppress conservative voices. And it becomes more and more obvious every day that they have, have been doing and that they are doing just that. And now, uh, obviously, we're, we're extremely grateful to have a House majority. We don't have the Senate 
though, unfortunately. So if, and, and obviously, you know, the White House, the Biden administration, so if, if legislation is wanted to be enacted, if the House, uh, which I, I have confidence that the House will deliver on, on some good investigations, some good legislations uh, for, the, for Republicans and conservatives across the country, how are you guys going to be able to, to uh, negotiate perhaps with Senate Democrats or, or get anything done, get, get, the, get Democrats both in the House and the Senate to uh, cooperate with you guys or at least uh, to just do the right thing? How do you plan to, to do that? Well, you know, the truth is a, a very strong motivator. And if we can expose the truth, if we can expose these companies, then, uh, you know, for lack of a better way to, to phrase it, we can shame the Democrats into having to address this. And, and, and Americans will demand that they address it. We're getting information now um, that, that of what has been done in the past and, and how they've been... Uh, suppressing conservative voices in the past. If we do our job of doing proper oversight, and we can expose this, that it has been going on, that it continues to be going on, then we can get the attention of the Democrats in the Senate because the people in America will demand that something be done about it. Now, one piece of legislation I do want to make sure uh, we mention here is your fair tax Act that you have introduced. You've had several co-sponsors uh, join you on this. We actually have a picture of the co-signers, uh, Congressman Clyde, Jeff Duncan, Kat Kamick, Scott Perry, Bob Good, Thomas Massey, Norman, several others who are co-sponsoring this bill, a, a solid lineup. Uh, Congressman, what would your Fair Tax Act uh, do for the American people? What kind of results uh, could would people see under your plan? Well, as you know, one of the first things we did in the 118th Congress, as promised, was to repeal the hiring of 87,000 IRS employees. We can take that one step further now with the fair tax, and we can do away with the IRS. The fair tax is, is you know, I'm very thoroughish. Simplify, simplify, simplify. The fair tax is nothing more than a simple consumption tax. This is a tax that would eliminate the, R, the need for the IRS. It's a tax that would make sure that everybody's paying their fair share. And, and, you know, nobody likes to pay taxes, but people prefer a consumption tax over a property tax, over a, a payroll tax, or over a, an income tax. This is a consumption tax. If you're going to buy a boat, you're going to pay the taxes on it. If you don't want to pay the taxes, don't buy the boat. That's a perfect example. And it, it gets the, the area that, um, uh, where people have not been paying taxes in, in, in the dark area, if you will. That is also touched by this because they are going to have to start paying taxes now. And that, it's going to result in a simpler tax code. And that's what people want. They want something that's going to encourage innovation, that's going to encourage growth. And this will do just that. Congressman, you had me at abolishing the IRS. I am all for that. Eliminating the income tax, that is a great idea. I wish you and this, this bill, the Fair Tax Act, I wish it much success. Congressman Buddy Carter, thank you for being here. Thank you.